Hey, thanks for checking out this unboxing video. As you can see, I've already done the hard work to get everything ready to take a look at. Um, I've only seen some overview photos of what's in this box. There are eight squares. I know that one of them is a regular old Distin. I think one is a user-made. Um, two are probably English, and then four are Connecticut-made squares. So um, we're going to see, go one by one and see what we got. So here's one of the Connecticut made squares. This is probably just a regular old Stanley. We can tell because it has uh, screws holding on the wear plate. So it must be uh, Stanley or Hall and Knapp uh, if it has this escutcheon and those screws. And there's no marks on here. Um, so this is a regular, regular old Stanley. So not too exciting, but not bad either. Um, here we go. Same. So, same Connecticut-style escutcheon, but no screws on the plates. Um, but I am not seeing any marks either, and I would have expected to see to see something. Um, so, I'm not quite sure about that. Definitely made in Connecticut, but uh, not marked as far as I can see. Very interesting. Here comes another one. Um, now, I'm going to take a gamble and say this is a Tidgewell of Middletown, Connecticut. This uh, sort of spiky um, escutcheon is usually a sign of that. And, well, once again, I don't see a mark on here, but Tidgewell does have an arched mark, and there does seem to be something sort of arched there, perhaps. But um, usually they have a pretty strong mark. Um, once again, yeah, no screws. Um, so I'll just come back and take a closer look at all of these. Um, but once again, definitely, uh, definitely Connecticut. Um, should be one more. Uh, it must be, there we go. Um, okay, so this has, yep, haul and nap, I thought so. Um, so we've got the screws on the side, which like I said, um, is either Stanley or Hall and Knapp, and this has a very thick wear plate, uh, which is usually indicative of Hall and Knapp, and you can clearly see um, it's partly covered by the sticker there, but it says Hall and Knapp, New Britain, Connecticut, warranted spring temper. Um, so that is nice, and I do not have this size um, Hall and Knapp, so that's excellent. Um, okay, here's just a regular uh, run-of-the-mill Distin. Uh, and sons um, doesn't appear to be marked, but that is their escutcheon, and uh, only they used that. Uh, this I'm thinking is probably an English square, um, and the handle is pretty, pretty rough. Um, so I'm not seeing in particular get, get any marks off of there, but usually when the the lower lobe is larger. Then the upper lobes um, is usually a good sign of being English. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be any marks on there. And this uh, almost looks like somebody took a wire wheel to the <clears throat> to the handle. It is very rough. Um, just just weathered, I'm not sure. Um, okay, I'm gonna get to some of the larger stuff. That's six out of the out of the eight. The last two are larger ones. And this one's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure also this is English. Not sure who made this, but that's just a super cool escutcheon. Um, and I have seen pictures of one of one of these before. Um, just looks like owner owner's marks on there. Um, same thing on this side. So I don't know that we'll get a owner's mark, but um, as far as I know, this is English, um, which I don't collect, but, I mean, that's just pretty cool, so I couldn't pass that up. Um, okay, the last one, the eighth one, is, I'm pretty sure, user-made, but also, which I also don't really collect, but I couldn't pass it up, because, I mean, once again, it's just cool, and I mean, look how thick, look how thick that handle is, that's amazing, with a steel plate, and all these slotted screws, and take a look at that escutcheon. Same thing on the back. Yep, same thing on the back side. 
um, AM. I don't AM on this side. It doesn't look like there's any any other marks. Um, but yeah, that's just in the. It's well, you can see the length of the handle in comparison to the length of the blade is is very long, um, very unusual. So definitely. Um, Definitely somebody's homemade square, but really cool, just very different, um, and yeah, hefty. Um, so I'm pleased, I'm pleased with this, I mean, that's pretty cool, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, a nice, a nice Holland nap, it's in great shape, size that I don't have, that's, I really like that. Um, and then yeah, three... Um, three Connecticut squares here. More that uh, I'm surprised. Like I said this one, this one must be a Stanley. Um, but these two are not Stanley or Holland Knapp, um, but they're not marked, uh, which surprises me. I'll have to clean them a little bit um, and see if I can get anything to pop out at all. If I do, I'll tack on something to this video. So, uh, but thanks for watching. As a cool package.